Welcome to another episode of B Avenue Foods. Today we are going to make vegan cheese. I think we can all agree that life will be pretty boring without cheese. But because of my pre-existing condition, my irritable bowel syndrome, my IBS, dairy cheese causes a lot of bloating, a lot of pain, and generally a lot of discomfort. But I'm not going to let my condition from stopping me live a full life. So I started creating and experimenting with cheeses that I can enjoy. So today I'm going to show you guys three basic vegan cheese recipes that you guys can adapt to suit or substitute in conventional recipes that require dairy cheese. Now the first recipe resembles melted cheddar and it's perfect as a nacho dip or for a mac and cheese recipe and this is how we do it. First, we will use potatoes to create the body of the vegan cheese and carrots are used to give the cheese its color. Now we're going to cook them in boiling water until they are just tender. It is important not to overcook the vegetables to avoid a watery cheese sauce. Next, we are going to pan fry some garlic and this is to substitute the strong pungent aroma that most cheeses have. Once that is done, to a blender we are going to add our cooked vegetables, our toasted garlic, salt, onion powder, nutritional yeast, lemon juice, olive oil, and unsweetened rice milk. Blend till smooth, and there we have it, our melted cheddar cheese sauce. The second cheese we are going to attempt is a mix between cream cheese and mozzarella. I actually created this out of an accident and it is soft enough to spread on toast but firm enough to take the shape of its container. This makes it very versatile to use and very convenient. Did I also mention that it's very very creamy? And to start making this recipe, we first need raw cashews, nutritional yeast, salt and onion powder, potato starch and unsweetened rice milk. We are going to add all these ingredients into a blender and blend till they all get liquefied. Next, we are going to cook this mixture until it has thickened up. One tip would be to use a pan with a wider surface to speed up this process. Also, stir constantly to avoid burning the cheese curds. This process starts off slow, but it will thicken up rapidly at the end. Now put this mixture into a mold you like, invert onto a plate, and refrigerate for 3 hours to let it set. Now the end result should be firm and bouncy, yet soft and creamy at the same time. One delicious way to enjoy this cheese is to add in fresh parsley, tomatoes and olive oil. Give this a good mix before spreading onto a piece of toast. Garnish with some salt and balsamic vinegar and finish! Mmm, delicious! The taste and texture is similar to that of a good tuna sandwich. This is amazing guys, you have to try it. Alright guys, it's now time for the third and last recipe for the day. And it is the easiest vegan cheese recipe by far. It is also a very close substitute for the classic parmesan cheese and I prefer it with pasta and baked potatoes. And yes, I know it's not the real parmesan cheese, it is not exactly melty. But still, this can really stand on its own because it has a unique crumbly mouthfeel and an umami taste from the nutritional yeast. So do give this recipe a try, I'm sure you will love it. Take some breadcrumbs, nutritional yeast, and grounded almonds. Put them in a grinder with some salt. Then blitz away. Pour into a dry container and it's now ready to use. And yes, it is that simple. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did and click the subscribe button for more content. I post videos every single week. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time.